the three crucial pre-appointment questions that will transform your sales process. That's what we're going to talk about. And by the end of the video, you'll be able to weed out the tire kickers and only have conversations with potential clients who are ready to buy from you. But what's that one question that can make or break a deal before it even begins? We're going to find out. I want to show you how to separate the yeses from the noes without the guesswork. You know, I've had six years of direct sales experience with over $3 million sold. Those insights are what I'm going to share with you today so that you can save time and energy. I want you to imagine a skilled gardener carefully selecting seeds for his upcoming planting season, right? They don't want to waste time on seeds that aren't going to grow well in their soil or climate. That's pretty much what pre-qualifying is in a nutshell. You're the gardener, your prospects are the seeds, and pre-qualifying is your sieve that you're going to filter them out with. Now, let's move on to that first question that we're going to ask our prospect. And that question is, does this fit your budget? This question is straightforward, maybe too straightforward. But you want to ask this question even if it feels uncomfortable. This question comes from a place of respect for both your and your prospects time and resources asking about their budget upfront can save you from pursuing leads that just won't convert and it will allow your prospect to find someone that is going to be a better fit for them now let's talk about the second question what is your timeline this question will reveal how ready your prospect is and the urgency that they feel in getting this project going so I was doing research about this question, right? And saw that a paper in the Harvard Business Review, uh, that paper mentions that a defined timeline is literally the key to closing a deal. In fact, if you don't have a clear timeline, the probability of closing a deal drops down to 15%. It's essential to determine right up front if your prospect's timeline is in the ready to move forward range, or if it's not, then you want to move them to a possible later time or drop them off your funnel altogether. I know it can sound harsh, but that's really what you have to do to protect your time. The third question, if you get this far in the pre-app process, is going to determine if you close the deal that day or not. And that question is, are all the decision makers involved? This is about making sure that you're presenting to individuals who actually have the authority to say yes to you. So a report that I found that was done by Forbes shows that involving decision makers right from the beginning, right from the start, increases the chances of closing by over 20%. You could be talking to the nicest person on the planet, but if they aren't holding the reins to the decision making cart, you're just not gonna go anywhere. It's an important step in making sure your efforts are focused and likely to lead to a successful sale. Now, if you want to know exactly how to ask these questions that give you a psychological advantage, watch this video here, either here or there, just click on it. In there, I explain not only the reasons for these questions, but the actual mechanics of how you want to phrase them when speaking to your prospect. Super important. Now, you're probably wondering why or if pre-qualifying is even important, right? Well, not pre-qualifying is like planting all the seeds you have, you know, taking from our gardening analogy from before and hoping that each one bears some fruit. But that's just not going to happen. So then pre-qualifying saves you time by focusing on prospects with the potential to become actual paying customers. Research shows that companies with a structured sales process that includes pre-qualification that we just talked about generate over 18% more revenue. That's a big number right there, right? It's clear that focusing on the right leads is not only efficient, but it's also profitable. Now, these pre-qualification calls should ideally be done on the phone, so you only physically meet the prospect that has the highest chance of closing on the day of your appointment.
All right, guys, so this is my take. Each question is a strategic step that leads you to the next one, making it easier to either qualify or disqualify the person that you're on the phone with. A negative response at any stage means you disqualify the prospect and move on to the next one. However, if you get positive responses to all the three questions that we just talked about, that could lead to a satisfying closing of a deal. Now, it's your turn to share your experiences with pre-qualifying leads if you have that in your system. Comment below to build our collective knowledge together. And if you want to dive deeper, like way deeper into our sales process, we have an in-depth course that we offer in which I talk about all aspects of our sales process. I'm going to put the link in the description below so you can go ahead and check it out. If you found this discussion helpful, please like and subscribe so that every time we release more content, you're the first one to, to be notified. Hey, keep nurturing your leads with precision and purpose, and you are going to reach your sales target.